Disney Skyliner is a fantastic transportation option around the Walt Disney World Resort. Here is a quick view of the boarding and transfer locations. It was really convenient staying at the Art of Animation Hotel and having a boarding station right there for the Skyliner. This is also the same for Pop Century right across the way. One of my favorite parts of going on the Skyliner was how convenient it was, but check this out. Right there, the stroller wheeled right on. You didn't even have to fold it down. Hollywood Studios and Epcot International Gateway. Did they close on the There's flaps. We are now gliding over Hourglass Lake. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the most magical Coco. Place. I didn't realize the Skyliner went all the way to Art Animation and Pop Century. That's really convenient. Yeah. And a really nice option because it goes straight to Hollywood Studios. <laughs> yep. First time. I Oh, okay, and switch, but that's better than any other option, I feel like. Bye. There was no line. Hey, Mom, where are the our cars? Oh, that's our car. Oh, that one. We're parked by cars. Oh. There's a pirate stuff. Oh, is that Caribbean Beach? Yep. Here we go! Woo! As you watch your steps, thank you for flying with us. Woo! There we go, we're wheeling right off of the Skyliner. Come on, how exciting is that? Okay, so here's what we learned. There's three main routes on the Skyliner. The first one we took to get to here from Art of Animation to the main hub. The second one will take you from this hub straight to Disney Hollywood Studios. The third one will take you directly to Riviera and then Epcot. That one's Studios? Yeah. And that one's what, Riviera? Riviera and... Epcot. So there's three lines. Every time the Skyliner took off, it was like going on a ride for the kids. They loved it. They put their hands up and they were screaming and it was like we were on Peter Pan. The views from the Skyliner are just beautiful. The outer windows are like 360 views of the whole park. So it was really fun to be able to start spotting different attractions and seeing the different icons and just, you know, starting to explore the parks from above. Hands up. Hands up. 
hands up. Oh my gosh, here we go. Okay, so we're back in line, which I will say the lines were very quick. And we are actually headed back to the main hub station and we're gonna transfer to Epcot. Now we're headed to our third and final route on the Skyliner, and this one is stopping at Riviera first, and then Epcot. We are gonna actually stay on at the Riviera and move all the way to Epcot. You can also board the Skyliner from the Caribbean Beach Resort, and that actually takes you straight to the main hub station. So if you're staying at the Caribbean Beach, all it is is one stop to get to Epcot or Hollywood Studios. Okay, I know I said it once, but check out these views. There's Disney Springs at the far right. Over in the middle there, you've got the Riviera Resort, which we're going to. We are flying over the Caribbean Beach Resort. And then approaching on the left side is actually the Epcot Ball. So really great to see all of these views right from the Skyliner. Okay, here we are making the turn. We're slowing down just a little bit and we don't even have to get off. And here we go. We're going up and over to Epcot. You can see the Swan and Dolphin Hotel and you can start to see the new France Pavilion and the Remy's Ratatouille Adventure Ride they are building, which is going to be very exciting. But look at that view. Now, if you didn't know, when you're going to Epcot, you will actually enter the park on the backside by the countries, and that's called the International Gateway. Here we go again. Okay, so we're boarding the Skyliner again, and we're boarding from Epcot this time. So we will get on, round through Riviera, 
get off at the main central hub station and then get on the second line to go back to the Art of Animation Resort. All in all, round trip to all of these stations took just under an hour. It was a really fun activity to do together. Mom!